In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to bake complex procedural shader graphs into simplified portable PBR textures. In our last video, we saw a simple workflow for generating a distressed effect. Of course, this can be taken much further into a much more complex shading network like we see here. What makes this type of graph particularly powerful is that it can be applied to any geometry and the effect will persist. Even as geometry is being created, the shader intelligently detects hard edges and the distressed effect shows through as seen here. These shading networks, although powerful in 3ds Max, cannot be transported and understood elsewhere. We will bake this complex procedural graph into simplified textures. The specific model also uses UV tiles, which the baking tool is capable of understanding. Open the Bake to Texture panel and bring in our standard PBR inputs. Open the gear icon under the UV channel column make sure to enable one texture per UDIM tile. Assign a PBR shader and connect the elements to the corresponding material inputs. As a general rule of thumb, when texture baking with Arnold, open this render settings panel and reduce all of the sampling to zero except for diffuse samples, which should remain at one. This will significantly speed up bake times. you've successfully converted a complex procedural shader graph into identical and portable simplified PPR textures. Thanks for watching.